Here are 10 life-changing organization ideas for the visual organizer. It's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. I am what you would call more of a visual organizer. I also like simplicity in my organization. So essentially, I like to see all of my things on display to make it easy to see and find everything, but I also don't like to spend a ton of time organizing. If you know my friend Cass from Clutterbug, I will leave her YouTube channel up here and down in the description box below. You'll know my organization style is what she calls a butterfly style. This video is in celebration of Cass's new season of Hot Mess House on HGTV. She goes in and completely transforms people's homes and helps them organize everything in a way that really suits their own lifestyle. I'm gonna share with you 10 ideas that you can use in your own home if you have a butterfly style of organization. These are gonna work for so many people, so definitely keep watching even if you're a different type of organizer. I'm also gonna share with you a preview of Cass's show, Hot Mess House, at the end of this video, so please make sure to stay tuned to watch that. Without further ado, let's get started. Organization idea number one for the visual organizer is to use clear bins rather than opaque boxes or baskets. This one really helps me because I can see exactly what's inside my bins so I know what I have or what I think I need. I found some amazing bins at places like Dollarama, Dollar Tree, and I found some at Ikea as well. You might remember that I used some of Ikea's clear shoe boxes in my recent bathroom organization video. So if you're a visual organizer or a butterfly like me, clear bins are going to be your very best friend because you might find that if you use opaque bins or baskets that you can't see inside, sometimes you can just end up with so much clutter in there that you don't even touch. So if you need to go through a room and organize it and you purge all of the things that you want to donate, recycle, etc., all of the things that you want to keep can go back into these clear bins and you can easily see and access everything so you don't forget that you have it. I also love those clear drawer units as well. I have some in the bottom of the kids bathroom upstairs and those work really well for organizing things too. Organization idea number two is labels. Labels, labels, labels. You probably know that I adore labeling things. I think I've made a few videos on labeling here on this channel. You can use whatever method you love best, whether it's a printer and sticker paper or a little labeling machine or a Cricut machine like I do to add really clear and obvious labels to everything that you want to keep organized. Often I get asked, why do you put labels on clear bins? I've done this in our fridge. I've done this in our bathroom. I've done it elsewhere. And the reason is that it just helps me and the rest of my family know exactly where everything needs to go. Even if the bin is clear, it just helps keep things in their spots. I'm in the process of making labels for all of my craft room boxes and my studio area as well because it definitely helps me to stay organized and if you are very visual, I know it's gonna help you too. Organization idea number three is using hooks. Hook walls hooks at the entry, hooks in your bathroom, hooks in your bedroom, hooks in the closet. There are so many places in your home that you can utilize hooks. I have a hook wall at my back entry in our home that we love, really easy for my kids to access and hang up their backpacks, their clothing, their parkas, sweaters. We have hooks in the kids' bathroom to hang up towels. Even a laundry hamper can go there as well. I also put hooks in our lake house rental bathroom just for easy access. I find hooks for me, as a visual person that doesn't spend a ton of time on organization, they're just easier to put things on rather than hanging, closing doors, and putting things away that way. Hooks can look cluttered, so if you don't like the idea of cluttered hooks, you might want to combine storage ideas. So have hooks for things that you don't mind being displayed, and then closed cupboards or closets for messier things or things that you don't love to display 24-7. Visual organization idea number four is using something like a blanket ladder to display your throw blankets in your home. So rather than folding them up and putting them away in a cupboard 
or a sideboard. You can buy or create a blanket ladder, which acts as not only a decor piece, but as a place to visually store those blankets and decor items as well. A couple of years ago, I made this one from Dowel that I found at the Home Improvement Store and copper pipe fittings. And it was really easy to make with just some hand tools and some glue. I'm gonna leave the full tutorial for that down in the description box below. Organization idea number five is using book ledges as storage. You can find these shallow little book ledges at Ikea. They're very inexpensive. I will leave the link to them down in the description box below. And not only can you use them to display books and artwork, but they're fantastic for small toys and accessories as well. I love using these in kids' bedrooms because kids can easily access all of the items on these shelves. I have at least two of the three of my kids are also very visual and simple organizers, so butterflies like me, and they both have these in their rooms, and this way they know where all of their stuff is. They can see all of their books at once, all of their toys. They can take things off and put things on easily as well. I've also used book ledges in my brother's living room for him to display artwork and also to hide his thermostat. And I have plans to use some book ledges as simple organization in our lake house rental as well. Organization idea number five for visual organizers is using pegboard on the wall as an organization tool. You might have seen me use giant pegboard sheets in my laundry room and my office as well. You can find these at most home improvement stores and you can mount them so they're slightly off the wall with two by fours or one by twos right on that wall. You can also paint them any color to match your walls. You can use hooks and shelves specifically made for pegboards and attach them to the wall or you can DIY your own. I love mine in my laundry room because it is behind a closed door so I don't have to look at it all the time but once I open that pocket door to my laundry room I have all of my hampers right there, I have all of my cleaning supplies right there. Everything is easy to access for me, I can see it all right away, it's easy to take down and it's simple to put back up. This is also a great idea for a home office or a family command center if you and your family want to see everything right away. You can even hang baskets up on these as well and put items inside that way. If you're curious on how to put one of these up at your own home, I'll make sure to leave a link for that tutorial down in the description box below too. Organization idea number seven is to upcycle a spoon rack into a jewelry holder. You might have seen this one a few times here on my channel because I absolutely love this one. Such a simple way to take something that might not be useful anymore and turn it into something that you are probably going to use almost every day. I know I use mine. I made one for my daughter as well. You can take a spoon rack, you can paint it, you can take off anything that you don't need, add holes for earrings, and you can use this to visually display all of your earrings, necklaces, and accessories. If you are a visual butterfly organizer, you're going to love something like this that can be on your wall, almost like a piece of artwork, but also extremely functional organization for your jewelry and accessories. Again, I will leave a full tutorial for this DIY down in that description box below. Another organization idea that I love for visual organizers, idea number eight, is using metal baskets. So those mesh kind of metal baskets for decor. So these are kind of see-through so you can see what's inside of them, but they still look really pretty on somewhere like a kitchen countertop. I have a copper one on my kitchen counter to sort of corral all of my recipe books because I do want to see those and remember they're there and use them, but it does keep them all in one place and looking really pretty on my kitchen counter. I also use wire mesh baskets on my pegboard in my office too. These can also be great inside bathroom drawers as well. I found some beautiful copper ones on Amazon as well as at Dollarama. Speaking of bathroom drawer organization ideas, that leads me to idea number nine, which is using shallow little trays in drawers, especially drawers in your bathroom. I found some fantastic shallow trays at Dollar Tree and Dollarama. They might be in the stationary section or they might be in their organization section, but you can use these in your bathroom drawers to hold all of your toiletries and keep everything separate. Again, you open the drawer, everything's visually laid out. It's all right there. There's no 
other lids and things to open, which is so handy for us butterflies. But then everything has its own compartment and you know where everything needs to go. Definitely having a place for everything, even if it's completely viewable up on the wall or in a drawer, is so helpful for us if we wanna keep that simple organization system happening. And my final organization idea for us butterflies as visual, simple organizers, number 10 is using rails and hooks. You can find these rails at Ikea. I don't know of any other place that has something like this. If you do, I would love to know comment down below, but I think Ikea has the best one. So I'm showing you their previous version. I use this in our campers and the kids' bathroom as well. So it's just a rail that you can affix right to your wall. I have one underneath the mirror in the kids' bathroom, underneath the mirror in our first camper we renovated, also on the wall in the kitchen in the first camper. And then you can buy accessories to hang off of these rails like little hooks that you can hang utensils from or cups, or there's even little pots that you can hang off of these as well to hold decorative items like plants or to hold more utility items like cutlery or bathroom essentials. IKEA does have a new version that just came out this year. They have black, I think they have silver, and they have a new gold color, which I think is really nice. So I'll make sure to link that one down in the description box below if you wanna check it out. I love these rails and the accessories for visual organization and also to keep things off of surfaces and up on the wall. So those are my 10 ideas for visual organization. Let me know down in the comments below what you think if you have any further ideas. I would also love to know if you're tuning in to Cass's new season of Hot Mess House on HGTV. I definitely am. I'm going to be cheering her on and I'm excited to get some more ideas that match my personality and my lifestyle. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. And as a special little treat for you and with permission from Cass, I'm going to leave you with a sneak peek of her season that's just launched now on HGTV. And now a special HGTV sneak peek. I'm Cassandra Arson and I'm an organizing expert. Let's make the home work for you, not try to make you work for the home. I call Wendell whenever I need to take all my disorganized organizing thoughts and make magic out of them. These are real families with real amounts of clutter. Let's make a mess! And they're making real transformations in just a few days. This is a lot of stuff and it's been here seven years. And many of the things have been here 10, 15 years or so. I don't usually feel overwhelmed. I'm feeling overwhelmed. It does feel great to have space again. So now that this is literally a blank slate, it's Wendell's job to make it gorgeous. Oh, wow. And this picture frame converts into a table, comes down and it reveals. Oh, that's